Hey F35 fans, it's Captain Dojo Olson. We recently posted cockpit footage from a performance we did over Miami Beach on Memorial Day weekend. And we had so many positive responses from the viewers, so thank you for that. And we also had a lot of questions. So what we're gonna do today is repost the video, and I'm gonna talk over top of it. I'm gonna describe the execution that goes into the maneuvers. Uh, some interesting facts about what the airplane is doing the, during those maneuvers, during the demonstration, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. So here we go. All right, so we start with the stage show entrance. This is a high energy entrance to the show. We do a tuck under roll there, which is where you roll one direction to then turn the other. On your right side of the screen, my left hand, you can see the throttle movement here. I'm back at idle to kind of slow down and then right back into max AB there. My stick on the uh, right side, left side of your screen, right hand. As I fly around, a lot of energy on the jet as it repositions back around, holding somewhere between seven, five to seven Gs during this entire time. Uh, and then the, the streamline of the vapor indicate that you're pulling a lot of G. Now into the high alpha half Cuban. At the top of this, at the apex, this is the slowest that we are during the entire show. at 75 knots and as slow as 50 knots here over the top to really demonstrate the high alpha slow speed pitch rate capability of a fifth generation fighter. You can see the flight control is really flopping around back there to keep everything in control and to give us the nose authority that we need. Now we pitch out of this, gain airspeed again as we level off back down at 500 feet, pitch out for the weapons bay door pass where I basically try to just reposition the jet to bring it back around as quickly and tightly as possible. Touch the glass there to open the weapons bay doors. Uh, they open automatically if you're dropping a weapon, but since we're not, obviously I got to touch the glass to open those. Do the weapons bay door pass here, which is super easy to execute, just, just a level right hand turn or left hand turn depending on the direction. Touch the glass again to close the doors and then light the afterburner and it's time to bring it around for the high speed pass. Uh, you can kind of see a cone of condensation forming here um, from the low pressure at the, um, on the, yep, there it is. And then a lot of vapor here across the wing as I pull, avoid a cloud um, there and then coming back around for the min radius lightning loop. All the way back to idle there with my left hand, pitching over the top, trying to kill all the airspeed that I can uh, to then have everything back um, under control for this next uh, portion. Min radius turn, flown at uh, 400 knots, doing a tight 360 as quickly as the airplane can make that happen. And then by the time we get back to show center, getting ready for the lightning loop. This is done at 500 feet, just raging right over all the boats here see pretty streamlined vapor here once again indicating high energy high G on the airplane uh, coming right back around and then uphill for the the loop anytime we go over the top this is where I talk to my coach my safety observer out there on the radio uh, this was Lawless Carter for this show and I call uh, on top with an altitude and airspeed to make sure that we're in a window that allows me to pull all the way back through safely this is coming up over the top with a beautiful view of Miami Beach um, and then uh, coming out from that 50 degrees angle of attack to then you can see there the relax of the back stick pressure on the stick to allow the jet to fly right out of that and then it accelerates very rapidly right back up to um, 400 plus knots. This is the reposition now for the dedication pass which is my favorite pass to fly. It's just an absolute rage fest down at 300 feet as you just loop around back here behind the condos. I mean, I'm below the top floor of these condos down in Miami Beach. I can uh, see the traffic kind of stopping there along the bridge as I uh, tip into the show here. This is flown at 0.94 Mach, a um, lot of G on the airplane, um, and then repositioning here away from the crowd. And this is, I mean, this is at one time speed. So this is exactly what it looks like in the airplane. I mean, you are just absolutely hauling the mail there on that, on that pass. This is the inverted inverted, one of my favorite ones to fly as well. Uh, turning around and flying upside down here at negative 1G, you can see the, the strap there floating in space. Do the 360 to end again, inverted at negative 1G, and then repositioning away from the show line. Super fun one to fly there upside down, flying right over uh, show center there at uh, three to 700 feet. Pedal turn, super impressive maneuver. You can take a look at the flight controls here as they deflect around, but over the top, all I do is plant the stick aft, uh, throttles plugged in max AB. And then I just go all the way aft and to the direction of the turn with the stick that I want and then full pedal deflection with my feet, which you can't see. And I'll just put both hands on the stick to really make sure I'm pulling that stick all the way aft and in the direction that I want, which is left here, and just hold it there and make sure that I'm getting the full deflection possible out of the airplane. Uh, you can see the left 
trailing edge flap all the way up there to help in that yaw rate. And then the jet flies very beautiful and uh, beautifully and easily right out of that pedal turn, regaining all that airspeed again, and then coming around for the score loop. So the pedal turn, very impressive. We're doing that without thrust vectoring. The A model doesn't have any, or and none of the F-35s have any thrust vectoring for maneuvering. Here's a score loop, get up to the top of the uh, loop and then get to push the stick forward here to hold inverted, sustained, negative 1G inverted flight, which is super fun. Great view of Miami Beach as I'm hanging there from the straps. And then right pull right back out on the stick to point the jet straight down. And then uh, at a certain altitude window, then I pull the stick straight back again to recover, just avoiding a cloud there and level out at a thousand feet, completing the square. Uh, super fun maneuver on that one. Then I come right back around for the slow speed. Um, and uh, this is actually really easy to fly. You're gonna see a lot of flight control movement out of the horizontal tail there. Notice my, my hand is, is not even moving. So the stick pretty much stays stationary and the jet's computers are doing all the work. It's super, it's super simple to fly. And then the ability to go left hand, max AB, throw that power all the way forward to be able to climb right out of that maneuver is just incredible. Uh, with the biggest motor ever made for a fighter in that thing. I can just climb straight out without even bunting the jet, climb right out of all that alpha, roll inverted, and be able to split S all before the end of the aerobatic box. Split S right back down to the surface 300 feet uh, and then into opposing rolls, which is really just is very simply just uh, 360 aileron rolls uh, alternating directions each time. So very pretty uh, simple maneuver here once you get out of the split S. So you can just see the stick stick fully deflected in one direction. Full, there's, that's full deflection, so it doesn't move that much. You can see that's kind of interesting there in the video. And the throttle's right, right just mid-range. Now go slam it into max AB um, as standard for any reposition there. And then this is a full reposition now cut. So there's a tuck under roll, rolling one direction and then turn another. Throttle's pegged in max AB. And now I'm just trying to bring the nose around as quickly as possible to get ready for the tactical pitch, um, affectionately called the dojo drift named uh, from the guys. So we come back through the uh, the aerobatic box here and then you see my left hand go into, throw it into max AB, roll about 45 degrees angle bank with right stick uh, and then just and then just pull the stick straight back and just try to rip the stick off um, and corner as hard as possible. So uh, I'll be, again, pretty simple to execute there. Jet does all the work, gets to 50 degrees triangle attack, a lot of snot, um, contra, or, um, condensation on the top of the wing as the jet dissipates energy and then is able to climb directly out of that which is really cool and then out for the air show exit so kind of this the opposite direction is the dedication pass cruising out there up the channel past the condos back up to Oprah Laco, which is where we staged out of just an incredible view um, and uh, man what a what an awesome time so it was um, that was super special we'll be doing that on Memorial Day over Miami Beach um, so it was super fun hopefully you enjoyed watching that uh, as much as I enjoyed uh, doing the actual show. Thanks.